sense, connecting sight, sound and life. Inclusive Sound Bath with Sense Arts by Chris Richardson. Hello everyone, I'm Chris and welcome to the Sense Arts Inclusive Sound Bath Workshop. I have shoulder length curly hair, round silver spectacles and I am wearing a colourful cardigan over my t-shirt. I am sat in front of a shelf full of films with a painting of outer space above it and there are green plants all around me. During this time, Sense are committed to helping people live creative and active lives. Over the coming weeks, we will be sharing different activities for you to try at home. We want to make sure everyone can take part, so to be as accessible as possible, I'm auto-describing everything I do. We also have a BSL interpreter and captioning. If you are supporting someone, you can either use this video as a tutorial to inspire and give ideas for your own sound bath or gather the items and play along with the person you are supporting, pausing the video when necessary to have a go yourself. For this video, there is a worksheet that you can use to have a little think about how useful sound and vibrations can be and how they can assist us in finding a little bit of calm and balance in our daily lives. The worksheet will also suggest some items to find from around your home so that we can work together today to explore sounds, vibrations and feelings that we might not have found by ourselves. Now, if you can't find some of these items where you live, that's alright. Almost anything can make sound, so you can be very creative. This workshop is to give you at home the tools to give and receive your very own sound bath as a way to relax and find your inner calm. For this video to be even more effective, I would like to suggest that you wear a pair of headphones if you have them. Speakers will work just as well. Don't worry if you don't have headphones, as the exercises that you do yourself at home will be what we are really focusing on today. Okay, today we're going to look at ways of making sound. Together we will make sound and vibrations using things we have in our homes. I am sitting down here in my home on another lovely day. In a moment you will hear sounds that are in my imagination. They can't be seen on screen but they are sounds that can be heard around my house and outside. I am raising my hand to my ear to listen. I can hear the ticking of my clock. I can hear the birds singing. I can hear people talking outside. I can hear the breeze passing through the trees. In the distance, I can hear cars passing by. I wonder what sounds you can hear. When we think about sound, when we really concentrate, we begin to realise that sound is everywhere. Let's start by listening together. Can you hear a clock ticking? Can you hear the birds singing outside? Can you hear other people talking? Can you hear the breeze? Can you hear cars passing by? If you stop and listen very closely, if you cover your ears, could you hear your own heartbeat? If you concentrate, can you feel the gentle vibrations of the cars? Can you feel a breeze in the air? If you put your hand to your chest, can you feel your own heartbeat? Give it a try.
different sounds can make us feel different things. Whilst we explore together, try to think about sounds that you like, sounds that make you feel relaxed or happy. In a moment, you will hear two sounds that I like, a lawnmower cutting grass and the sounds of the sea. They cannot be seen on screen, rather they are in my imagination. I like the sound of a lawnmower cutting grass in the distance because it tells me that the sun is out and people are tending to their gardens. I like the sounds of the sea too. The tide coming in and going out makes me feel very peaceful indeed. The closer these sounds are to our ears, the louder we can hear them and the more detail we can hear. Try tapping the palm of your hand with two fingers. I'll do it too. First, let's tap our palms far away from our ears. Then, let's tap our palms closer to our ears. Now, all around us. It's quite a difference, isn't it? When sounds come from different directions, they give us a sense of where they are coming from. This is called spatial awareness, being able to tell which sounds are coming from which place. If sound moves all around us whilst we are listening, it can feel as if we are surrounded or immersed in the waves of sound themselves, a bit like water surrounds us in a nice relaxing bath. Today, we are going to try and learn ways to make our own baths of sound. Ones that relax us and make us feel very calm. Before we start, and before you try this at home, I'd like you to make sure you're in a nice, comfortable place, in a room with soft lighting, to wriggle yourself around a bit and let go of any tension in your body, and to take a nice, deep breath in, and out. Hmm. Okay. Let's try exploring the sounds that some different objects make. They might be useful for your own sound bath. I have a microphone in front of me. For these next steps, the microphone will be your ears for you. See? Now, for each sound that we make together, try closing your eyes and focusing only on the sound. Now, I'm picking up a little hairbrush and showing it to you. Now, I'm taking the hairbrush and running my fingers along the bristles. It makes a sort of clicking, popping sound. Can you hear that? I think it's quite nice, actually. How does it make you feel? Now, if you're wearing headphones or listening through some speakers, then you might find that you can hear me running my fingers across the hairbrush from the left to the right And all around you. As I bring it very close to your ears, the sound becomes clearer and you can hear every detail. Now I will softly tap the back of the hairbrush. We get a different sound. heavy patting sound, almost like big raindrops falling on a roof. If you have a brush or a comb, why don't you give it a try yourself? 
Let's try this with some other household objects. Let's also try and imagine what other sounds they can remind us of. If you have any of these items at home, perhaps you can join in and see what lovely sounds you can make with them at the same time. If not, let's think about other items we can use that might sound similar. If you ask first, you could even try with someone you live with, moving the sounds you make slowly around their head whilst they listen and relax to the sounds that you are making. It feels pretty good to help your friends and family relax using sound. Next up, my shaker box. I filled a small Tupperware box about halfway with dry rice. I'm going to call it my shaker box. To make one of these, all you need is a container with a lid and some small dry items. You could use anything from sugar to seeds to little pebbles. Be creative. They will all make slightly different sounds, so there is lots of room to experiment. You can try putting in less or more of an item, or different types of item. For this shaker box, I've chosen rice. Let's have a listen to it. I tap the box. we get a sound a little bit like a drum. I shake the box. It almost sounds like footsteps on a gravel path. What do you think? I swirl the box around. A softer whooshing sound, a little bit like rainfall. When I shake or swirl the box, I can feel the rice moving around inside. I can feel the vibrations of each piece of rice as they all bounce around together. My box is transparent. I can see through it. It's quite fun watching what is happening inside the box whilst I feel and hear it. Here I have a different container. This one is half full of small seeds. Let's listen to the different sound it makes. A similar but softer sound because the seeds are very small and light. Here I have a box of cereal Also similar, but a bigger, deeper shaker sound because the box is bigger. Can you make a shaker box of your own? See if there are any new sounds you can make at home and try to focus on all of the individual sounds that you are making. I have some fresh latex gloves here. These can make some pretty interesting sounds as well as keeping us free of germs. First, I will loosely shake the gloves around. They sound a bit like a flock of birds. <laughs> Next, I'll stretch the glove lightly with my fingers, then drag my fingertips down the length of the glove. What a sound! Now that one is a bit strange, isn't it? Lastly, always make sure that the gloves are clean and not already on somebody's hand. I touch a glove already on someone's hand they slap my hand away. Okay, liquids can make a lovely sloshing sound that can be very relaxing. Thinner liquid can offer a freer, watery sound, whilst thicker liquids offer a deeper, slower sound. 
Let's try listening to some different thickness liquids in their containers. I'm picking up a clear bottle, half full of water. Let's listen to how it sounds. As I swish the liquid in the bottle, from side to side, you can hear it moving around freely in the plastic. It sounds a bit like a boat on the ocean. Now I'm picking up a blue plastic container. It's got milk in it. It's thicker than water. I'll swish it around like before. Let's have a listen. It's a deeper sound. It has more weight to it, don't you think? Now I'm picking up a green plastic bottle of aloe vera gel. It's a similar thickness to hand sanitizer or hair gel. It is much thicker than the previous two liquids. I'll give it a swish. It doesn't want to budge. It's too thick. I better shake it. Wow. What a thick, gloopy sound. What do you think? I'll shake them all next to each other. Try and decide which sound you like the most. Water can make so many different sounds. From a splash, to a drip, to a bubble. I blow bubbles into a glass with a straw. Try some experiments at home. Maybe keep a towel handy just in case of spillages. I am soaking wet from head to toe. <laughs> Talking of bubbles, I have some bubble wrap here. It's a favorite of mine. The lovely scrunchy plastic rustles and crunches and then you get the satisfying pops of the bubbles. I'm scrunching up the bubble wrap. I'm twisting it in my hands to make the little bubbles pop. There's so much going on in that sound. What can you hear? What can you feel? It's made of thin plastic, and there are so many types of plastic that have their own sounds. Try and find some yourself. I'm now going to scrunch up a ball of paper. It sounds a little bit like a bonfire, doesn't it? A nice, warm, crackling bonfire. If I tear this piece of paper slowly, that's quite an interesting ripping sound too. Mm. I'm picking up some old scrap cardboard here. It's a bit thicker. I'm taking a pair of scissors and very carefully I'm going to cut small lines across one side of the card. I like that crunching sound. Now, I'm taking a pencil and drawing onto the card. When we listen closely, it has a nice smooth scraping sound. Do you like that? Different speeds and different drawings will make their own sounds. See what sounds you can make. I'm picking up a 
paperback book. The Grim Fairy Tales, to be exact. And I'm going to flick across the pages. If we flick through the book close to our heads, we can feel the air brushing gently on our face. Mm. Now, let's see if we can find any items that have a ring to them, like a, a bell or a chime. I have a china mug for drinking, and a saucepan for cooking. Mugs, pots and pans come in all shapes and sizes, like us. And, like us, they all have their own unique qualities. This mug is quite thick. I'll tap it gently with a teaspoon to hear what sound it makes. A satisfying ding. This saucepan is quite big. I'll tap it softly with this wooden spoon. Things that make a sound that rings out like this are very useful for sound baths because they make a sound that lasts and fades out gently. Sound that rings out like a bell for a nice long time. There are so many ways to touch and interact with all of these items. Shaking. Tapping. Rubbing. And softly scratching. What other ways can you think of making sound? Now, your breath and voice are powerful tools for making sounds and vibrations. Let's try some voice experiments. I'm going to make a humming sound. Would you like to join in with me? Mm. Can you feel the vibrations on the outside of your lips? It's almost tickly. Now I'm going to make an oo sound. Join in if you like. Can you feel the vibrations on the inside of your lips? If we make an oo sound and make it lower and deeper, the vibrations become stronger. Let's try together. How low can your voice go? And what other sounds can you make with your mouth? For this next section, I'd like to offer you two items of my own that you might not have in the house. I'm picking up something called a tuning fork. It vibrates when I hit it with my little mallet and rings out, a bit like the saucepan. Now, I'm picking up a copper bowl, which also rings out when I hit it with the mallet. As well as hearing the sound, you might be able to even feel the vibrations through your headphones or if you touch them with your hand, your speakers. Let's listen. First, the bowl.
tuning fork. So, now that we have found some sounds, I want you to remember which ones made you feel calm and relaxed, and then find ways to use them at home so someone can give you a sound bath, or even better, so you can give a sound bath to your friends and family as a gift. If you enjoyed this workshop, why not share it with a friend? I'm sure they would like to relax with the soft sounds you can make around them. So, to remember from before, it's extra useful if you can take these steps in preparing yourself or someone else for a sound bath. Step one, relax. Find a relaxing place and settle into it. Let your body release any tension it might be holding and get nice and comfortable, either laying down or sitting in a comfortable chair. Step two, light. We can be very sensitive to light so a nice soft light can help us get into that relaxed place. Step three, breathe. Our breathing is important for keeping present and relaxing deeply. So try to take nice, slow, deep breaths through your nose. Step four, softness. Nice, gentle sounds create a lovely environment for our ears. So remember not to be too hard whilst making sound with an item. Step five, surround. Moving around and away from the ears creates that feeling of immersion, like sound is coming from everywhere and anywhere. So move around and find where works best for you, your friends or family. Great. The rest is up to you. Try and think about all of the different sounds you can make yourself with things around the house. Thank you for joining me on this little journey. I'm going to go exploring now to see what other sounds I can make around the house. Goodbye. I'm using different instruments to make surrounding sounds. Sense, connecting sight, sound and life. No one left out of life, no matter what.